Hey ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. As you can hear, I have a cold. But it's getting better. I couldn't even talk on Friday. I was just like... Ah, bah, 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 bah. And then Friday night, I was able to sing for a little bit. Could Still couldn't talk, but I could sing, which is really weird. Because it's harder on your vocal cords to sing than it is to talk. But So I had to sing everything I wanted to say. Anyways, so... And then Saturday, it finally cleared up. Yesterday, I got a fever like you wouldn't believe. Actually, I had a low-grade fever on Saturday. And then last night, I wound up with this this fever of 101. It was just like, oh, my God. Actually, 101 isn't that bad. Low-grade fevers hit me a lot harder than high-grade fevers. So, bleh. But this weekend, it was a case of, what am I going to do? Because I couldn't go up to the cabin. Uh, we couldn't put in the big dock anyways. My husband and my and my youngest son, oh, my youngest son, he's 20, oh, he was born in 96, so he'll be 23 this year. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, um, they put in the dock, the, the renter's dock, but the big dock has to wait until two more weeks. When my oldest son can come up with his girlfriend, and hopefully my daughter can bring her boyfriend up still, and we will have a full full crew for putting in the big dot. But that's a whole other. Maybe I'll have a video for you guys from the cabin though, because my job is to stay in the cabin with Grandpa to make sure he stays safe. So the question became this weekend: What do I do? I'm not feeling good. I don't feel like making cards. I don't feel like really doing any coloring. So, what was I supposed to do? Because I don't want to just be laying around doing nothing. Well, it turned out that as I was doing a little... Well, cleaning is a relative term, I suppose. <laughs> I, just, I call it... I call it... Uh, Reorganizing. My son used to tell me, don't reorganize my stuff. Because he always said I lost his stuff. I found all these pieces of paper. Okay, and I had made these a long time ago. <coughs> these pieces of paper are roughly uh, six and a half by eight. Because this was an eight, eight by eight pad that I cut up. In fact, you might remember the pad. It's what I had left from... Oh, where did I put the cover for this? Oh, I guess I have thrown the cover out. Oh, no, here it is. It's what I had left over from this one. And this is the 8x8 Friendship cardstock. And you can see it comes in white, uh, tan, burgundy, green, blue, black, gray, and cream. And it's double-sided paper. So I had decided to, oh, look, and I still got some of it left. I haven't done it all up yet. And I had decided to take and um, get things ready for a scrapbook. But then I had set them aside, and I was like, well, I don't really want a scrapbook that's got all the different colors in it. That just doesn't make sense to me. It just wouldn't look very coherent. There'd be no cohesion. Blah, 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 blah. Right? I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to put up with a periodic cough. And then I have this one. That, oh, no, not this one. Where's the one that I cut? I, I have one that's a little too short. I'd actually cut it at six instead of six and a half. That was the first one that I cut. But anyways, so I have these sheets of six and a half by eight sheets of cardstock which I am going to make into a book. But a book of what? Well, then I got thinking about my La La Land stamps. And so I started stamping my La La Land stamps. Okay. So I stamped them, labeled them with the year, like this is September 2018. And I labeled the stamps. Because eventually I had to figure out a way of storing these. 
And then I cut out the dies, the matching dies. Now this one's kind of strange because I didn't want to separate these two dies out to get a straight cut of the of the uh, canning jar. So I, on the back of this piece, I glued the negative space of this one. And then I just glued these off to the side. But then I put this fold in here on the top. Yeah, I pressed a little too hard and cut through the paper. And what I figured I would do, I, I wish I had a better shot for you guys. I'm going to have to work out something this summer. Is when I put this on, because what I do is I stamp and then I cut this down as close as I possibly can. Because some of them aren't very close at all. And then I could glue this in this way. And then I have the stamp and the dies that are associated with it. <clears throat> or actually this one, I bet I could even go across. The, oh, no, I guess I can't. I was going to say, I could probably go across this way, but I guess I can't. <coughs> so, that's what I've been doing this week. And I've been, I have been die cutting and stamping and placing together. This one I did in different colors, my dies. My, my dies I did in different colors. Some of them I actually took a mark or two or a... Uh, uh, ink stamp to and colored them a little bit. Yeah, I wish people would stop trying to call me to sell me crap. Um, some of them, uh, did I do it with a poodle? Yeah, like this poodle up here, I took uh, like this, some of the gray <clears throat> uh, Spectrum Noirs too to try to give it a little bit of fluff. <laughs> but, as you can see, I didn't do a whole lot this weekend. It's just been kind of a blah, blah, blah. And I'll probably keep this up until, A, I finish everything I've got, and, B, I'm feeling better. So, the next question becomes, how do I set these up? Because these need to be glued together before I put in the stamp part. So what I was thinking, and please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I was thinking that I could put these so that I have a full years in one section because this is a half an inch. I could put a full years worth of pieces on here so that when I unfold this, I can get blah, 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 how many how many I have for the full year. Like in 2018, I think I figured I'll have uh, seven of them because I started in, well, I back ordered February, I back ordered July. Then I have August, September, October, November, and December. Yep, seven. So I have seven of them. So I can go front, front, two, three, and then I'm going to have to have four. Five, six, seven, and then this technically should be eight. But I don't know if that's the way I want to do it. So, because then I can get years upon years upon years <coughs> in one book. Or I could go six months at a time. Go, let's see, and do one two, three, and then I get four, five, six, and go that way. So, mark down below, or I could just do it two months at a time, because there's always front and back. Except that book would get way too thick. Okay, guys, like I said, leave me a comment down below. Please tell me what your thoughts are on this. Um... And, yeah, uh, I'll show you next time when my voice is feeling a little bit better.